Okay, let's quickly go through this. All the essential spelling that um, I need you to remember, I need you to know. After today's lesson, once all the, all the answers are given to you, please go back and revise it. Okay, try to make sure that you memorize it as well. Memorize these words. Memorize the spelling of these words. These are, this is a list of commonly tested and commonly misspelled words. Okay, so let's go very quickly. Don't need explanation unless you don't know the meaning of words, okay? Uh, humility, you should know how to spell this. Okay, humility, all right? It just means humbleness. Uh, okay, then curiosity obviously comes from the word curious. Okay, curiosity. Okay, there is no you. Okay, make sure you know that. There is no you in curiosity. Generosity as well, there is no you. Okay, um, Okay. so venial, another commonly misspelled word. I think it came out for one school's prelim paper, if I'm not wrong. Okay, I saw it. I saw this word as well. Souvenir, okay, please make sure you know how to spell this. Okay, opportunity as well. Um, shouldn't have any issues spelling this, okay. Miscommunication, all right. So if you notice if this entire list that I prepared for you, right, is all spelling mistakes. So you're not supposed to change the grammar of the words, right? So obviously if it's in the, in the singular form, please don't go and change it to plural. If it's in the plural form, don't change it to singular. If it's in the present tense form, please don't change it to past tense. All right, these are something, these are little tricks that you need to know also for your editing section in paper two, right? There are only two kinds of mistakes. Remember, grammar mistakes and spelling mistakes. If it's a spelling mistake, please don't go and change the grammar of the word, okay? If it's a grammar mistake, then the spelling is, is correct, okay? It's just that it's in the wrong tense or, you know, in the wrong form, right? Maybe it requires an ing, for example, at the end of the word. Okay, so please make sure you know that. Okay, that as you can see from the first two practices, I have taken the liberty, that means uh, I have annotated the passage for you. So I've already highlighted the clues and that is exactly what I would want you to do in the exam. If you need to highlight the clues to ask yourself which word would make sense. I am very, very appalled because I understand that a lot of students, when they do compre close, they don't find for words that makes the most sense in the passage. They, they find words that sounds right. And I know that a lot of you are guilty of that. If you do that, you are not doing complete close correctly. Now, with that, I am going to start on the complete close. Okay, so as I said, to do comprehension close, you need to dig, D-I-G. You need to dig for clues. You need to understand the passage and dig for clues. All right, so Dig for clues is just like annotate the passage, okay? So we already know that this is about, this is a passage about a hummingbird, all right? This is about how a hummingbird is like, okay? So hummingbirds are tiny, hum, hummingbirds are tiny birds, right? And they feed on the nectar of flowers. You are probably seeing hum, hummingbirds, right? But you just don't know it, okay? Then, so the clue here, the first clue for question one is two. What word always follows two? Something to something. When you're measuring something, from something to something, right? That is the answer. Okay, so from 7.5 to 13 cm, all right? It's always because of the word to. From something always follows to something. Okay, from something to something. All right, those of you who, e who even put the word measuring, measuring 7.5 to, to, to 13 cm, I would also accept that answer. Okay, so I accept two answers, from or measuring, okay? They are among the smallest of birds. Interestingly, they are, this should be easy. Okay? Can I say ranging? No, then it has to be ranging from. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Between, eaten, between cannot, because between always follows and. Between something and something. Okay, so that's wrong. So that's why I highlight the word to. That's why you should know from. From something to something. Okay, this one, question two should be quite simple. Called or named, I'll accept. Okay. They are called hummingbirds. They are named hummingbirds not because of their singing voices. They get their name because they make, right? This one should be quite simple. With their unique physical characteristics, hummingbirds can fly in any... I should really highlight that for you, the clue, right? They can go up, they can go forward, backward, up and down, side to side, even upside down, right? So obviously the answer is direction. They can fly in any direction. 